as we had promised, the one, the only, the number one magician on the planet here today to talk to you, Chris Angel. Yeah, look at this crowd, beautiful. Uh, I'm so honored to be here with all of you. I'm so honored to be partnered up with Hypervision. I want to tell you a little bit about my journey. My journey is one that's kind of unique because I didn't have the cash. I didn't have anything but a dream. And I just believed in the dream. And eventually I had tremendous success with my first show for the last 10 years uh, over at Luxor. And in my new show, I wanted to do something completely different, something that had never been done before in the entertainment world. I wanted the most sophisticated technological show that the world of entertainment had ever seen. And we just accomplished that at Planet Hollywood in my brand new Chris Angel Theater. And I was only going to use my brand and align myself up with companies that share my vision in bringing the best technology to create the ultimate experience for the public. And Hypervision is definitely a company that does that and so much more. They are the first to utilize this technology. I've used a lot of projections. I, I use projectors. But projectors, you have to have pin light. You don't have necessarily the quality. With this technology, you don't, you can be in a room like we are right now and you can see the content and how crisp and clean and the clarity of it is amazing. And you can create this content in a small area. You can use one fan, which has its own LEDs on, or you can use, as I have, coming up 50 fans to do it. I love this technology so much that when you see my Magic Emerge Chris Angel store at Planet Hollywood, you'll see 27 fans generating so much interest in this technology, but more importantly, in my products, because my products are displayed in a way that captures the imagination of people walking by, makes them stop and notice, take pictures and videos of what it is you see up there, and that's what we want, right? And that really is a testament to this technology. I loved it so much that I asked them to do another one, as I said, with 50 fans, which will be done, so I'll have two Hypervision displays, one in my retail store and one in the main entrance to my theater, literally 40 feet from each other, one focusing on the show and the other one focusing on my merchandise, because this has commanded, even in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, with 250,000 tourists walking past every day, their attention, and we all know that some people's attention span is like a nap because they're overwhelmed with information. How do you capitalize? How do you capture their imagination? How do you make them stop off their phone and look and be in the moment? Well, this technology, at least for me, has been that answer. It has given an incredible opportunity for me to message whatever I want and get people to notice understand and take action and that's what we can only hope for and hypervision has done that and then some i'm honored and humbled and i'm not being paid to say any of this and i'm not being paid to use their products okay this is part of my lifestyle part of my artistic expression and technology for me has always been an integral part of the process and i only align myself with companies that are at the cusp of something new, something innovative, and always trying to reinvent themselves for what's gonna happen tomorrow. And Hypervision is the future today. So I thank you so much. I will field some questions if you have. I'm happy to talk to anybody that would like to talk to me. We have a microphone in the audience. Christy, where are you? Can we see hands of Thank you. Can we see hands of anybody who has a question? Uh, actually I saw your show yesterday. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Uh, but 
during the show, uh, was this technology used during the show or not? Because actually I was in a bit of a side, so I couldn't see all the back. So I thought it was LED, or was it the stand that you used in your show? Actually, uh, in the show, there's, a, there's more uh, video. Uh, it's a half a billion pixels of video in my show, which makes it the most video uh, than any show in the history of entertainment. We have also the most amount of lights. It's over 2,000 lights. If you take all seven Cirque shows and combine it, I still have more. If you take the biggest pop store in the world, I still have more. But to answer your question very specifically, this I utilize for the entrance of the lobby, the ticket booth, and my merch store. And it was really important that the front entrance, entrance really captured people that were on the casino floor, people that were in banquet rooms, people that were walking around, I need to capture their attention to get them inside the show like you were. So I chose to use this outside as opposed to inside, but that doesn't mean that I won't be using it inside. I'm also working on an illusion right now with this incredible technology, and we're going to shoot it, and it will become a viral video. And it's something that no one has ever done before, no one has ever seen. I'm really excited to bring that to Hypervision, and Hypervision bring me their technology. That's amazing. Thank you. And one more. Before you go, could I have a selfie? Before? Sure. Of course you can. Come over here. Let's do a selfie. <laughs> OK, two questions. How did I find out about Hypervision? Hypervision. I saw. Um, a demonstration that blew my mind that Nick Lang, my right hand man right over there, showed me and said, look at this technology. And I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I know that because I'm a magician. I know what blue, the blue room is, uh, Pepper's Ghost, you know, basically 3M would take the glass and replace it with a plastic and you put projection on it. I've been around, that's, that's set up as a magic trick. And, and the problem with that is it looks great on a screen, but when you look at it in person, it's not, people say it's a hologram, it's not a hologram, let's get that out, it's not a hologram, it's a two-dimensional image, and it's just projection on a piece of glass, and so I was very disappointed with that technology as a magician, even when they did it a hundred years ago, and everybody kind of capitalized on it with Tupac and all the different artists that have been utilizing it. When I saw this, I felt the same thing, and it said, Nick said, no, 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 you've got to see this. This can be done in a room that has light. This is the highest quality, and if you think about it, a projector will shoot light and reflect off of a wall, and you need a highly reflective surface area to do that. Here, you don't need a projector. You have these fans spinning at such a high rate you can't see them, but on the fan itself is your RGB LED lights across them. And so that they self-illuminate. So you're looking at the source of light as opposed to a source of light starting there and hitting a wall and reflecting. So the, the contrast, the quality, and the brightness is far greater than what a projector could do. So when I saw that and understanding the technical parameters of projection and LED, I thought the concept and the technical parameters that make this work is genius. And I knew right away, I said, Nick, get me a contact. I need to talk to the owner or somebody. I need to incorporate this in my new show because my goal was to bring to the public what Las Vegas Entertainment hasn't done yet because they rested on what they've done and become complacent for the last 25 years. And I want to I wanna ramp that up and set a new bar. Anybody else? Any other questions? Yes. What are your thoughts about virtual reality? Oh my god, I, I, it's absolutely amazing. Like all this stuff, I have a 60,000 square foot studio, probably about 12 minutes from here. And in my studio, we do everything uh, from motion capture to 3D. Uh, we do immersive experiences, which my new show has. We're doing immersive things with actually live action and sequencing together. It's the first show that ever do anything like this. Um, <clears throat> so for me, the future of what's going on is really incredible. The, the, the challenge for me is, is I have 500 to 600,000 people that see my show a year, okay? 
I need to create an experience in the lobby, in the merch store, that's going to capture their imagination, that they're going to be able to interact and be engaged with, but yet have the follow through. And when you put, you know, some of the technology of putting goggles on, it's not practical. So I'm working on ways right now how to take that technology and keep it out in the open so people can experience it without having to put the goggles on. We're working on things in my laboratory right now that will be coming out in my show because I plan on never resting on what I did yesterday, but always pushing for the future with technology and art and bring stuff that's new to the public. So I'm always evolving and transforming as a person and as an artist. It's a living organism. Yeah, thank you. Anything else? Anybody else? Do a trick. What? Do a trick. It pulls the magic right here. It's the magic of hypervision. My son. That's a great question. My son, after doing, uh, he had pediatric cancer. He was diagnosed um, before he was two years young. Making sure that's not important you now. And uh, he is um, three years every single day doing chemo, and I'm very proud to report that two weeks ago, God willing, was his very last treatment. Right. Yes. Yes. Which is why I take the blessings I have as a successful entertainer, and I try to utilize that for a greater cause, which is all these kids that have this horrible disease known as pediatric cancer. And, and be a voice for these kids and raise millions of dollars, which we have done, and we do it locally, and we do it internationally as well. But every single cent I raise goes to research and treatment. I don't take a penny out for any expense. I fund it all out of my own pocket. Appreciation for the man, the best magician in the world. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I just want to say, I just noticed this. Like, like, look at this. Look how, like, honestly, look how amazing this is. Like, it's appears to be like a three-dimensional ring flying around, a shoe, like, think about all the ways that you can use this technology in ways that hypervision hasn't even thought of right now. Like, how do I take that ring that's there and make that come to life? How do I, how do I take a food that I see and make people feel like they can taste it? That's the direction we're going. And I think with this incredible technology, I think that I think that like you just have to have your imagination. Because there's no rules, there's no boundaries. It's how do you take this technology and use it in a way that blows people's minds? That's for me what's fascinating. There's so many people, I know magicians that sit there all day long and they sit there and they do card manipulation and they sit there and they practice the one move but they forget about the most important thing, selling themselves, right? How do you take this and sell your product in a way that's just not what they have on display but think of it differently? That's where the future is going to go. Instead of this being a techie, it's about being, you know, a having the tech, having the showmanship, and having the engagement uh, factor, I think. Anyway, thank you so very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my small portion, and uh, Pam Howard, you can your mind for tonight, 7 o'clock, all the rest of the week. God bless you, and may you have a wonderful time in Las Vegas. Thank you for being here. And remember, whatever happens in Las Vegas, stays on Facebook. <laughs> no, 3D selfie. Yeah, yeah, there you go.